What's going on, Exiles? Welcome to Good Morning Ray Class, the show where I talk about all the community and newsy type stuff going on in the world of Path of Exile. Today is Thursday, November 20th. My name is HC Monster, and although it's going to be a quick one, let's start the show. So, as you can imagine, since our schedule is still a little bit messed up and our last episode was yesterday, not a whole lot has happened, except we did get new teaser pictures of upcoming skill tree changes coming in patch 1.3, which is, in fact, pretty big news. When it, because, you know, whenever the skill tree is changed, it opens up a whole new world of possibilities, regardless of whatever starting class you are. And, although we don't know very much because these are just teaser pictures, we can at least figure out that the skill tree changes will affect the Templar and the Duelist positions, which does make sense since these are the last characters on the list that need their areas to be updated, and it is pretty nice to see them finally getting some love. At the time of recording this, this news has just came out, but you better believe the community over at Reddit is already hard at work trying to figure out what these black notes could be. Although it is just speculation, Reddit user and I'm just sitting here, yes, that is his name, has come up with possible predictions of what these trees could contain, and judging by the current trees, he probably isn't too far from the truth, but GGG is known to throw in some curveballs when it comes to changes like this. We're going to go ahead and close the episode with a little bit of throwback Thursdayness. First up, we have a screenshot of what very well could be the oldest non-developer character that still exists. Reddit user Xentricity is clocking in at a whopping 1102 days, 1 hour, 42 minutes, and 39 seconds, making that character just over 3 years old. And, you know, for all you PoE players that are relatively new compared to that, which is, you know probably 99% of the community, and you're a little, probably a little bit curious about what the game was like back then. Well, lead developer Chris Wilson has reminded us that this video exists showcasing what the game was like in 2011. The first thing you'll notice about the old version of the game is that the user interface looked quite different. Our first major patch to the closed beta updated it to the new user interface, which pleased a lot of players. And that's the show, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you did enjoy, even though it was rather short and not a whole lot of information was given out. But uh, come Monday, when we resume our regular schedule, everything will be... Uh, there should be enough time in between episodes to get just enough news for you guys to enjoy. My name is HC Monster, and as always, I'll see you next time.